the Diddy case, and the 20-year desperate call for help. The allegations against Diddy date back to 2004. But the female celebrity's cries for help have been ignored by the public, Hollywood, and the entertainment industry for nearly two decades. When music mogul Sean Diddy Combs was arrested and investigated for extortion, sex trafficking, and engaging in prostitution, the case sent shockwaves both inside and outside the entertainment industry. But some people weren't surprised. According to USA Today, rumors about Diddy's alleged behavior have been circulating for years. And several famous women have even publicly criticized the rapper in interviews before. But the problem is that few people are listening. In a 2004 profile of Kimora Lee Simmons, she recalled a time when Diddy threatened to beat her while she was pregnant. In 2022, Former Donnity Kane member Aubrey O'Day revealed on the Call Her Daddy podcast that her forced departure from the girl group in 2008 was related to her refusal to do what Combs expected of me in areas unrelated to music. Singer Jaguar Wright has been on the offensive for years, accusing Diddy of serious crimes in interviews. In a video interview, Wright said she was called a liar and accused of being jealous of the rapper's success. It wasn't until footage emerged of Diddy assaulting his ex-girlfriend Cassie Ventura that people began to listen to the stories of Simmons. O'Day, Wright, and many others, experts say gender and racial stereotypes, as well as cognitive biases such as the halo effect, contribute to the denial of sexual assault allegations, leaving survivors feeling ashamed and unbelieved. Halo effect, according to Elizabeth L. Jeglick a clinical psychologist and professor at John Jay College of Criminal Justice, City University of New York, USA. A cognitive bias called the halo effect can protect the image of stars against sexual abuse allegations. Jeglik says that when we have a positive impression of someone like Diddy, a Grammy-winning artist, a star on the Hollywood Walk of Fame, and an honorary doctorate from Howard University, the public tends to ignore information that doesn't fit our perception of him especially when someone of lower status than Diddy speaks up. That may have been what happened in 1999. The rapper went to a nightclub with then-girlfriend Jennifer Lopez and got into a verbal altercation with rapper Moses Shinebarrow. The ensuing gunfight left three people injured. After a brief police chase, Diddy, Lopez, Jones, and Barrow were all briefly taken into custody. A jury later found Barrow guilty only of first-degree assault for shooting two bystanders. But one of the victims, Natania Rubin, has repeatedly claimed that Diddy was also the shooter. But sometimes it takes undeniable evidence to change people's perception of a celebrity. Like the video of Diddy assaulting Ventura at the hotel. That makes people start thinking, could he be behaving like this? Ms. Jeljic explained, prejudices that silence victims. Some of the women involved were black, which may have played a role in the suspicion they faced. The phenomenon dates back to the 19th century, when minimizing the experiences of sexual violence by black women in the U.S. was actually written into the law, according to Chloe Grace Hart, an associate professor of sociology at the University of Wisconsin-Madison. In some southern states, it used to be that only white women were legally recognized as victims of rape. That's certainly no longer true today, but remnants of that kind of thinking still exist, although not necessarily on a conscious level. Hart said, in a recent study conducted by Hart, she found that Americans are less likely to believe a black woman describing an experience of sexual harassment than a white woman telling the same story. It shows that when it comes to sexual violence, black women survivors face a particularly difficult battle to be believed, she said. According to Renee Carr, a clinical psychologist and expert on the human mind, black and Latina women are often over-sexualized, which is important when it comes to abuse allegations, because there is an unconscious bias in the mind that this group is inherently hypersexual. People tend to deny their allegations of sexual assault and abuse. Carr says, we still live in a largely patriarchal society where men still hold the majority of the power. Ms. Jeljic said, So, when women make accusations, it's much easier to demonize them and make them seem emotional or crazy. Black women are also stereotyped as angry, 
and that stereotype can exacerbate apathy and psychological manipulation toward their life experiences. But as more women come forward to share their stories of abuse, the public becomes more receptive and willing to listen to them. We've seen changes with the hashtag MeToo movement, but there's still a long way to go. Jeljic said, If you found this interesting and helpful, don't forget to hit the subscribe button to motivate our channel to create even more great videos. See you all in the next videos. And wishing you joyful moments and exciting discoveries.